in Scopus. In this example, you are interested in viewing the University of Toronto. Select Affiliations from the main menu, enter University of Toronto, and select Search. Your affiliation search yielded multiple results. The Scopus Affiliation Identifier uses algorithms to build profiles from the affiliation text in the articles indexed by Scopus. Once the algorithm is confident it has found a group of documents published by the same entity, it assigns the entity a unique affiliation ID, which you can view on the Affiliation Details page. Returning to the Affiliation Results page, you see columns for documents by affiliation and institution. In Scopus, you can have a parent-child relationship where a parent is an overall institution and an affiliation is a child of that institution. For example, both a research institute at the University of Toronto, a child, and the overall institution, the parent, can have unique identification numbers. The documents of the children affiliations roll up into the parent institution's document count. If a document, or group of documents, cannot be confidently matched to this profile, it is not included. The algorithm first clusters items that have a high level of certainty of belonging with each other. Because authors and publishers may be inconsistent in the way they record affiliations, and affiliation names may change over time, this automated process is not exact. Therefore, Scopus provides an opportunity for an administrator at an institution to make corrections to an affiliation profile or hierarchy via the Institution Profile Wizard. Only individuals formally authorized as representatives by the institution itself have access to the wizard and the ability to edit their institution's profile and hierarchy. This is particularly important as Scopus data is used by ranking and evaluation organizations for their calculations, and institutions want to ensure the highest possible degree of accuracy. To find out more about affiliation profiles on Scopus and the Institution Profile Wizard, visit the Scopus Access and Use Support Center.